rest of your life, no one's gonna care about you as much as I care about you right now. Coffee, strong on brown, just the way you like it. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, sweetheart. I hope you are strapped in. What? Yeah, because Air France is ready for takeoff. What? But Whitney, I really care about you so much. There is a reason I can't stick with anyone. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, where? Uh, well, we've got them here oh. in the studio. As you can see, we've got Sean and Ricky who play Fat Boy. I can't call you Fat Boy. Right, <laughs> I mean, not me sitting here. If you're Fat Boy, what does that leave me? <laughs> well, it's a terribly derogatory. Well, how have they come up with that? Well, his real name is Arthur Chubb. So he used to, yes. he used to get bullied a little bit um, in school about his last name being Chubb. You know what I mean? Chubb, yes, sir. Mm. Uh, chubby, Chubby. So he tried to switch it around, tried to make it into a nickname. Yeah, fat Boy's much Fat nicer. Boy. So he's, he's trying to laugh at himself before you laugh at him, basically. Well, I wish I was as fat as you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be all right. Right, so we're, she's got choices to make. So many choices. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, is she going to go to Paris? Is she, is she going to go to Paris, sweetheart? Don't know. And, oh, sweetheart. And so nice. is, he gone, is he taking her to Paris because he's going to pop the big question? Well, you know, after Mercy um, and that failed marriage, um, I, I don't know whether he would be as quick to jump into marriage again. He's just happy at this time that he's found um, a girl that, that he believes loves him as much as he loves her. Mm. But that's so, what's so awful, because you believe that she does love you. I know, I know. Much. But, you know, I mean, for, for Whitney's character, it's, it's a bit confusing. Does you know? she love him? Does she love that boy? I think she loves him as a friend, and I think she always loved him as a friend, but just got a bit confused, and after everything that happened to her, needed a shoulder to cry on, and it just got a bit... Mm. And he's so oh, lovely, and... isn't he? He's kind yeah. and fun. And you say you love him like a friend, that actually says a lot about the clip that we're going to show now. Kiss me. What? Why? Just do it. No, no, wait, is this some type of test or sign? Like, I mean, if I pass, are you coming away with me? Wait. Is this, is this something to do with Rob? Did he take you to Paris? No. Well, then, whoa, 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 have I done something wrong? Just kiss me first. Oh. I've tried, OK? I've tried so hard, but every time I kiss you, it's like, it's like, it's like kissing my best mate. I'm You're sorry. not supposed to laugh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but Poor see, old fat, eh? Yeah. But as a man, I mean, if you're told, you don't need any more hints after no. that. I mean, that's, where does it go after that? Well, that's the thing. I mean, like, fats knows um, that... Whitney's had this thing with Tyler for a long time, you know. Fats has been there as a friend for Whitney for, for a while now, you know. We, mm. we went through South End together, we went through uh, Billy's death, you know. Um, mm. And Rob, the, the old, uh, Rob, your, your pimp your guy pimp that was always... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep, that guy, you know what I mean? So we've been through all of that together. So he understands her and he's, he, he accepts her for, you know, who she is and believes that her heart is, you know, uh, uh, beautiful and... and and he believes in that, and it's yeah, just but she needs she needs some she needs some happiness now, really, doesn't she? I mean, it's life's life has been tough and cruel to her up until now. Yeah, I mean, I hope there's some um, more happy stuff for Whitney, and I'm sure there will mm -hmm. be. What would you thanks, do if you thanks. had the no, choice? No, no, it's cool. It's fine. It's fine. Do you know what? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> if you had the choice, if you were writing the script, mm. what would you get her to do? Who um, do you think she should go for? Should she go for the person that's going to be kind and love her, or those kind of slightly dangerous, naughty boys? Who would you go I for? I mean, as a viewer of EastEnders, and I love EastEnders, mm. um, watched it for years, but I would personally think Whitney should go for Fat Boy just mm. because he's so lovely and genuinely cares. Mm. And as for Whitney to go with Tyler now is just a risk to take, isn't mm. it? She doesn't know how it's going to go. No. Mm. Um, it's funny you say there, you talk about as a viewer of EastEnders, can you believe you're actually, you've been there, what, four years or so now? Yeah, yeah. Um, what, what is that like in all those famous people that are, that are around you? I was out shopping yesterday and um, I pumped into Jesse Wallace in the same shop. Yeah. Actually, wasn't, isn't it funny? But you, do, you believe you know them all through, through the show. Yeah. What, what is that like for you? It's, it's bizarre. I can't believe I'm in it. I really can't. And I'm so lucky. I mean, the storylines, I had the 
the paedophile storyline mm. as soon as I was in it, you know, that was a 16. big, big storyline for you, wasn't it? Yeah. Very emotional yeah. and... So it, lucky as an actress, but, I mean, yeah. also so lucky to deal with such big important issues. stuff. Yeah. 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 And and you, of course, with um, with June Brown. Yeah. Who, mm. play, who plays <clears throat> Dot, and you've formed up a an, an understanding there, haven't you, and a respect and a... I tell you what, June is amazing to work with. She is meticulous, her attention to detail, you know what I mean? She loves it. If, if a teapot is in the wrong place on set, she will tell the prop guy that it's, not, it's, you know, it's in the wrong she place. She wouldn't put and, that there, Dot wouldn't have and that And she'll there, give or... you five different reasons why she wouldn't put it there. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? When, when it comes to stuff like um, the Bible verses and stuff like that, the quotations, some of them are wrong in the script, and she will, she will know that, and she'll bring out her own little Bible, and she'll go, no, 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 and she'll mm -hmm. change the whole thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, work, me and June, we work really, really well together. I mean, we always go through our, our scripts and stuff before we go on, and... Um, he, he, um, she changes a lot of her stuff, she's mm. changed a lot of her dialogue, and I've got to change a lot of mine, you know, because some of the writers won't have the same type of flow for Fatboy, you know. Mm. Fatboy has mm. a certain way of speaking and a certain ry a rhythm. Um, so, there's a lot um, of rhythm. There's a lot of rhythm, there's a lot of rhythm. I mean, if you saw uh, June last week, she, she ended up doing one of Fatboy's raps oh, to you. That was brilliant. And it was hilarious. That was amazing, you know, and we, we sit down and we go through slang together. Sometimes the writers are putting a bit of slang, I go, no, 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 June, no, June, come, let's talk about it. <laughs> and she's excellent. She takes it on board and she's like, no, Ricky, no, I know, I know you know your stuff, okay? And, she, you know, so we have a real good laugh as well as a really good acting relationship And were as well. you an EastEnders? You know, Shona was saying she loved the show. Yeah. Did you watch it? I grew up on it. Yeah. I grew up on it. Um, mm. Literally, I mean, you know, as soon as it hits 8 o'clock on a Monday, you know, there's no point in phoning my house. Mm. Um, you know, because if the phone did ring, my mum would literally, if she did pick it up, if she did, it would be literally a millisecond, watch these senders. <laughs> and you'd literally get that and that'd be it and you should know what's going on. Shona, is he always as shy as this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you are a quiet one, though, in real life, are you not? Well, yeah, I'm, yeah, well, am I? A little bit, a little bit. Sometimes Shani would be a little bit, a little bit shy sometimes. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. quite shy, yeah. Only now, a little bit, though. We're seeing, we're seeing this love triangle with them, but in real life... <laughs> of course. <laughs> this right works, in real life. I think, I think so you go out with the boy that, play, the boy that plays Tyler's brother in real life, yes, don't you? Yes, Matt Lapinska. Yes, plays oh, and then who goes out with Tyler? Jackie, Jackie, uh, Jackie the girl that plays Jossa, Lauren. Yeah. That plays Lauren Branning. Yeah. So, so you have to kiss her boyfriend quite a bit. Yeah. 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 And does she mind that? <laughs> <laughs> Just well, asking. That's a I whole would, other story. Obviously, she does. <laughs> well, whatever their troubles are in these standards, they get on very well in real life. They were giggling a lot, weren't they? They're lovely, really nice. It's, it's interesting, actually, because Shona was very nervous, and I'm always, uh -huh. I always forget. You know, actors, you, you just assume that they're very confident because, yeah. they, you know, they're a character, but she Ricky, was nervous. Ricky's going to have to learn to talk a bit more. He is, yeah. He needs yes, a bit of help yes. there, doesn't he? Nice it? guy, nice couple. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a break.